Hi, I'm back. I know it's been a while. I've been really busy with school. I haven't had the kind of time or even really motivation to make the video, but I'm making one today, and today is going to be a masculine get rid of with me. It's Halloween season. Even if you're not a trans person, I felt like it would be really cool to know how to make your face more masculine. This is going to be all like mostly contouring and highlighting and not highlighting like I mean like no shimmer. Um, it's not really going to be like I'm going to draw like a uh, beard on with mascara or something. That's not really what I'm doing. Um, so let's get started. First, as always, I'm priming my face. Um, I use two different primers. I use the Smashbox Photo Finish, which this is just a tiny sample, and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. Um, the Mattifying Primer primarily just goes in my T-zone, and I'm just going to put some right there. And some right there. As you can see, I've got a lot of blemishes. My skin has been really gross lately, so yeah. So I just put the mattifying primer in those areas. Then I'm using the professional on the rest of my face. And that's it. Okay, next for foundation, I'm going to use a uh, medium to full coverage. This is the Makeup Forever HD. This is the original version. really like this. Don't like the uh, Ultra HD as much. It just, it's too dewy on me. But this one's really great. Um, so, just taking two pumps. Take my Beauty Blender. And just... I'm trying not to make it too full coverage because when you're trying to look masculine, it's not like all the time you're supposed to have perfect looking skin, but I'm just trying to cancel out any redness and uneven skin tone. And just one more tiny pump. There we go. So that is the foundation. Okay, now I'll move on to concealer. I'm going to use a lighter coverage. I don't want to look too, I'm going to use a, a browner one. I don't want to look too highlighted. I just want to look concealed. I really don't like the Radiant Creamy that much. Um, it, I feel like it is a little too dewy for me and it creases. But I know other people like it. I think it just depends on your skin type. So, um, and to blend that in, I'm taking my Sephora Pro Airbrush Blush Brush. But I use this to blend in my concealer. that's it. Okay, now for, high, for setting the under eyes, I'm taking my Morphe G7 and the banana powder from the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm just really going to try to get a bunch of yellow powder and brighten up my under eyes. 
it's okay if you have bags because you're not supposed to look like super glam. This is more like an everyday makeup look combined with like very heavy contouring to make your face look more angular. Okay, so now I have that. Now that that's done, I'm going to take I'm going to take um, to do my brows. So I'm taking this e.l.f. brow kit, e.l.f. brow kit, and the NYX micro brow pencil. So usually masculine eyebrows look more full, but not shaped because, not not, not shaped, but like not as angular because they don't they're not necessarily like shaved not shaved but waxed or threaded they're more like you know messy but full so I'm just taking my next micro brow and I'm filling in some of the sparser areas just very lightly And you're really not trying to shape this too much. See, so that's good. Okay. And then to just kind of fill in, I'm taking the and make it more even. I'm taking the brown shade from this this elf brow kit with my little tiny brow brush that came with a different elf brow product and I'm simply just gonna take that and do a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. And then I'm setting the it with the brow powder. That's good. Okay, for the eyes, we're not going to do a whole lot just because, you know, this isn't a shadowy look. But I'm going to take my matte paint, MAC paint pot and soft over and go over my eyes. And then I'm just going to take a very light eyeshadow from my Naked palette. Actually, no. From my Smashbox Full Exposure Mini and put brush that over. Just This is going to be very, very simple. So I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot and I'm just priming my eyes a little bit. And then on the other side. There we go. And now I'm taking my brow, and not eyebrow, my full exposure powder, and I'm just gonna go over that paint pot with this matte warm shadow. Just very lightly dust it. That's it, that's it. All we were trying to do is like get out some of the veining, but we did that, so that's it. Okay, now to the fun part. So, I don't have a cream contour, so what I'm doing is going to take this brown eyeshadow crayon and use it to contour and then put the regular contour powder on top of it. So I'm using this Tristique Kona Coffee brown eyeshadow crayon and my Anastasia contour kit. I'm just going to contour. So, masculine people tend to have very angled faces. So, I'm just going to go in like that. Go in like 
like that. Around my chin. Ooh, I broke it. And around my head, my forehead. I know it looks muddy, but it's gonna work, you'll see. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender, blend it out. Now I'm blended in. See, I look more contoured. There's a shadow underneath my chin here. Now I'm going to go over this with regular contour powder and I'm going to contour my nose. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going over this with contour powder. So I'm taking the middle shade, which is Java from my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking this contouring brush from e.l.f. And just getting right in there. Okay, and I'm taking my Morphe, Morphe E14, going over my nose contour. Okay. Now for highlight, not using a shimmery highlight, I'm using this matte highlight from Park Avenue Princess, the Park Avenue Princess palette. Just going on right in with that with a fan brush. This is the C300 from Royal Langnickel. Going in very, very lightly.
See how it just gives me kind of like a glow? Like not like, I'm not, like it just looks, my face look more awake. It's not, it's not like I'm doing, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not glowing. I'm just, it gives my, not like I'm, it's not like I'm the sun. I'm just giving my face like a little bit of a glow and that's it. Okay. Okay, and then for, I'm going to set this whole thing with my Rimmel Stay Matte and this Sephora powder brush. It came in a set, so it doesn't have like a name. Just going over my whole face with that. And that's it. For lips, I recommend either one of two things. Taking a lip color that's your lips but better. So, for example, I have here Matte Cream Cup, which is for me, like my lips but better. Or, or like something like Lolita, which I think is a similar like look. Or you could go bold and just like masculine face with a bold lip. Like, one of my favorite lips right now is this lip color. Um, it's called Ilarate from, or Ellery, my bad, from ColourPop. It's just this really pretty wine color, but it really it's really up to you what you want to do with the lips. Um, I am going to put on Lolita. Um, I'm just feeling like doing that today. The Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Are my favorite liquid lipsticks. Like they're actually beautiful. So if you wanted to spice up this look, I would recommend doing two things. First, for your hair, um, I usually put my hair up in a hat. Focus. Okay. I usually put my hair up in a hat. But if you wanted to you could slick back your hair, like, my hair is crazy, but you could slick it back like this, or, if you have longer hair, put it up in like a half ponytail, and then like clip the rest up. Um, for masculine clothing, I would recommend baggy clothing, just because that's like a style, and then if you want to like, you know, a flannel, something. I have these sunglasses that I really like that I feel like are masculine. Um, and then they're like just tortoiseshell. I got them from Target. And then for, if you want to spice up the makeup look, I would recommend taking a brown mascara and just brushing it very lightly over your face. But for me, this is my everyday masculine makeup look. It makes my skin look nice. It's a little highlighted. There's a, like a nice fresh lip, but it's nothing like hugely big um, because I, mask, I am a trans man and I come sometimes do masculine on an everyday kind of basis. Whereas if you're doing this for a Halloween costume, I'd recommend like, you know, you could have, you could do more, you could go have more heavy on the contour or you could like really exaggerate it or you could do the, you know, just take a brown mascara and like lightly dab it over your face like but not you know anything huge like I just for me this is more comfortable okay well I really enjoyed filming this for you and I hope to see you real soon bye